Robot Wob here, and today I'm going to be doing some death pro testing for you guys. So, <clears throat> I thought I'd test out the Dark Magician deck because, like, I haven't really done any videos of my Dark Magician deck duels, so I thought I'd do some tests with that. So, let's just get into a game, and it will do. So, come on, yep, <clears throat> let's just do some Dark Magician testing. Like, I do love the Dark Magician deck, because, like, the Blue Eyes deck is cool and all, but I just prefer the Dark Magician deck in general. Um, I've been trying a new build of the Dark Magician deck, just because we don't have Eternal Soul yet, so I want to try and make it a bit faster. Ooh, I won the Rock, Paper, Scissors, nice. Uh, you always want to go first with Dark Magicians. Um, so we're up against a 60 card deck, and we opened... Okay, I guess. Uh, let's do Pot of Duality. We're going to get... Does he have a response? What could he have? Like, legit, Pot of Duality. What are you going to have to Pot of Duality? Okay. Ooh, we got the Rod. Mahad. And another Pot of Duality. Um, I'll take the Rod. <clears throat> uh, now... Does he have another response? Because, yeah, he doesn't. Like, we opened kind of bad, to be honest, because we opened a p double pot of duality when you only really want to open one. But Rod kind of just saves his hand out, right? And also, guys, this is the build of our Eternal Souls, if I didn't already say that. So, yeah. And he just... He just scoops. Okay. Um, so, not even a duel. Okay. Now, let's try to get a different game, then. Uh, th this guy. Many. We're gonna get it. Nope, someone else got it. Uh, this one. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on, fabled unicorn. Give us a tick. Come on, tick. Uh, I I really don't like Death Pro sometimes when I look for games because sometimes guys just make a make a tape make um a room and it doesn't even they don't even tick to. Or start the match, so doesn't look like this guy's gonna start the game, so just gonna go off that. Uh, let's try this guy. Come on, I, I want to get some good games. There we go, there we go, we got it. Uh, so blue, black, rose. What are you gonna do? I wonder who what we're actually playing against. Like last game was just like, oh, we got in, we we summoned Rod, he scooped. <laughs> but yeah, um, we won the rock paper scissors again. Um, we opened pretty decent actually here because like that's not actually that bad. So we activate circle, have nothing. <laughs> uh, what do I want here? Um, I suppose the I'll do that because then I can just do the straight off allure, so it's kind of decent still. So a lure we'll get, we'll banish, like, the summoner monk. Uh, normal summon the summoner monk. We'll get Coco as well, because we're not going to get any effect off this, so. Activate this, discarding the upstart goblin, because there's literally no point. Summon the Coco. Uh, Coco effect. Discarding this to get the plus one. We've got a counter trap which isn't bad. Uh oh I think I'll leave the like I could make something like this, but that's not really gonna do anything right now, so I'll just leave the board how it is and pass. Because like we got Coco if he tries to attack Coco, we can summon this. Uh we've got strike set so we can stop any pendulum summons. So we're we're in an okay situation, just not a great one. And we drew the eye of Tamias, which is okay if we can actually get this on the board, because then we can make um We can either make like Dark Paladin, if it's like a Dragon deck or Amulet Dragon, so we're, we we can still play Yu-Gi-Oh pretty well. Reinforcements of the army, okay. Oh, so we're up against Light Swan. Maybe it's a Minerva Swan. That'd be pretty cool if if I was up against Minerva Swan. This is not cost, is it? Um, I don't really want it milling, so I'm just gonna strike that. 
Because Light Swan, they they love to mill, and if they get their if they get all their mills off, then they can just win very easily. So yeah, upstart goblin. Yay, free life points! I paid five hundred for that strike. Thanks a lot. Instant fusion. Oh damn, that's not good. So depending on what happens here, really, really does depend because, like. If he can deal with the Coco, then, like, he's probably going to make a Castell or a Minerva. Like, yeah, he made Minerva, so he's going to Minerva, mill free, hopefully get some draws. Uh, he did not get any draws. Pretty good on my heart part. So, yeah, he's probably going to attack into the Summoner Monk, to be honest. Like, there's no reason not to, so... If he doesn't attack into the Summoner Monk, I don't know what he's doing, so, yeah... Um, what would be ideal to top deck here? Maybe another circle? Like, this, uh, it's really hard to think of what I would want to top deck in this situation. Because I'm not playing, like, Prisma and stuff, because I don't really like the cards. Oh, we that's really good, actually. Uh, Magician's Rod. So we can normal summon Rod. Uh, gain the effect. Now, what do I want? Um, no point in getting Navigation yet, because we don't have Dark Magician. I guess we could get another circle, but then if we don't get illusion magic, we can't search the dark magician. But like, I'll just get I'll just get um the dark magic circle, cause like I want to banish this, but I can't really at this situation. So, uh oh, sick, we got the dark magician anyway. Um, it's a shame that um I have Tamias is the only monsters on board, cause like that's really the only downside to I have Tamias that the the dark magician actually has to be on the field. So it's kind of bad in that situation, but whatever. So we'll we'll use this to discard this to get the pot of duality, and then we'll pot of duality reveal the top card of three cards of our deck. Ooh, Mahad. There's no point in getting Mahad, obviously, but it's cool to see it. Um, if only this was in the cards, then we could just special summon it outright. Uh, I guess we'll get the pot of du the pot of duality again because yeah, why not? Nothing really else we can do here, so just pass turn. Like this deck is really good, but when it comes up against when it can't actually get to its combo pieces, then it, it just can't play anymore. So right now we're not in the greatest position. He did not mill. He, okay, he did not mill wolf. Really good. Okay, don't mill light swans. Don't don't mill light. There we go. There we go. He's gonna now mill a trick clown, isn't he? Oh, that would be sad if he did. Oh, he milled a wolf. That's still kind of bad for me. Um, he'd probably make Castell here to get rid of the Coco or Choco, whatever you want to call it. I call it Coco. Um, what could he? He'll probably make Castell come get this back again in the deck. Like, there's, there's no reason not to. Because then I can't special summon, like, Dark Magician back from the grave. Or, um, the Illusion Magician. Like, if he just enters battle phase, then I, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, yeah, he's... Oh, he's synchroing. Uh, so he makes Crimson Blade. Um, that's... That's interesting. Oh, he summoned JD. Damn. This guy's got it all. Da oh, what? This guy, this guy, this guy got, well, I can't special summon anything during my next turn, but he attacks with anything. Yeah, you're, you're fucked, mate. Like, I don't care if I can't special summon during my next turn, I can just summon the Dark Magician now. So yeah, we'll summon Dark Magician, use Circle to banish the other JD, because we don't, we don't want to deal with JD at all, like, like, JD is like can't play so um here i think i'll i'll probably get rod back yeah I'll, I'll, I'll tribute coco to get rod back that seems worth now does he want to you now does he want to crash his minerva oh he really he wants to crash his minerva wait i thought he had to attack weird oh he milled light swans Damn. Like, I thought you had to attack my Dark Magician. 
I, I'm kind of confused. Now he's probably going to make Castell. If if I ripped right Geki here, guys, that would just be stupid. What could I rip here? Um, there's not really anything I can think of that I could rip here. Like he's got a 15 JD. That thing that thing's dying. Like I, I'm not allowing that to stay on the board. He's probably going to make another Minerva here as well because it's either Minerva or Castell. Like Minerva's the better choice. Uh, so he's going Castell. Not, not a terrible option, because he's got the Crimson Blader. But, like, I never special summon on my turn anyway. Like, unless I draw Soul Charge, like, I, I never special summon. Uh, what could I draw? This guy's milling for his deck pretty good. Okay, so we got Dark Renewal. Um, I'll, I'll normal summon this. Use it. Get the circle, the last circle, because like this is one of the best cards like out of all the new support. Just being able to, whenever you summon Dark Magician, just destroy any, banish any card. We got some pretty good choices here as well. Like the best thing would be if we could get um, uh, a Dark Magician. So we'll 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 get we'll we'll get the uh, navigation. And then we will we'll pop duality. We'll pop duality and grab that. Oh look, there's dark magician. But we're gonna we're gonna get illusion magic because illusion magic's like oh tribute dark tribute rod, then get two dark magicians. So it's better than just it's better to deck fin at this point. So we'll crash into this. Uh, yeah, he can have, he, you can have your Thousands of Blade, mate. Currently, I really don't care about his board. So, maybe he's two. I suppose I will just set free and pass. Because, like, we also got Dark Renewal, so if he does anything, I can just tribute the Dark Magician's Rod. So we're in a pretty decent situation right now. I, I don't really care what happens. Like, even if he attacks me, I don't care because I can just get two Dark Magicians. Like, his only option really is to XC summon? Yeah. Okay, so he's going to make Minerva. Uh, is Minerva when it's sent or destroyed? Uh... If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card in its own position is destroyed by an opponent's card. Oh, sick! Dark Renault stops Minerva. No effect for you, Minerva. So we'll summon. Mm, I don't have any Dark Magicians in Graveyard, so. We'll just. Uh, he hasn't normal summoned yet. So. I suppose I'll just grab special summon. Uh, this is actually a hard choice. Um, yeah, we'll just special summon the Dark Magician. I won't use uh, dark magical dark magic circle yet. Okay, he's getting JD. Like, there's no nothing else you're gonna get. Like, as soon yeah, I'm I'm gonna go always chain like. I can't allow that JD to activate. So then we'll add the two Dark Magicians from deck. I cannot allow him to get that JD off. Just, I can't. If he gets that JD off, I'm completely screwed. Uh, Yeah, summons the JD. No response. Then on, after the summon resolves, our navigation. Good thing priority isn't a thing anymore. We'll summon the Dark Magician. Uh, special summon the Illu Dark Ma uh, Magician of Dark Illusions. Uh, we'll use... Yeah, I'll chain Rod because I can get this back regardless. We'll also use this. Yep. So Rod will then tribute off Dark Magician. Circle will then banish the Judgment. Then 
after that all resolves, the um, Illusion Magician will just summon back Dark Magician. So, yeah, we've got a pretty decent field now. And I don't really care if he crashes with Crimson Blade, because I've still got uh, Dark, uh, Magician of Dark Illusions. So, like, I just got around him. I've gone around him his entire deck now, I think. Like, he can crash me, but I still don't care. The only reason I would care, I suppose, is that I can't go into Amulet Dragon, but, like, I don't, I still wouldn't really care that much. Because, like, I can still make, get another Navigation. Oh, oh, and we did draw Soul Charge now. So, but, anyway, we're going to just normal summon the Rod. If he, if he doesn't have Vela, he's pretty much lost this game. We'll grab Navigation. Then, we will set Navigation. Uh, there's nothing else we can do here. So, we'll just pass. Like, I'm not going to chain navigation. Like, we'll, we're just going to put always chain on right now because, the, like, if he just drops JD, I, can, I need to chain to that thing. Because, like, he has. I don't think he has milled the third JD, has he? Oh, Twin Twister. Oh, this guy's got me. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. Because of um, navigation in the graveyard, I can banish it to actually negate the Twin Twister. Sick. This guy ain't got me. Yeah, so this guy this guy knew he would lose after that. Like, I, I, I had several players. Like, I could even um, make Amulet Dragon and then just banish all the spells and traps and then crash into either of these. So this guy this guy didn't win, wasn't going to win that game. So um, how long is this going for so far? It's been going for about 16 minutes. So uh, let's get another game in. We'll go up against this guy. So yeah, Dark Magician's doing pretty good. And like, guys, this is just the new support build. It's like, it doesn't have Eternal Soul or anything, if you're wondering. I don't know if I said that already. Let's see if this guy actually, like, ticks his name so we can actually get a game. Because it would just be really sad if we sit here, like, does he... Is he going to play? Uh, are you going to play Hab Habibo? Habibo! Come on, tick your name. Let's go. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, you're not worth my time. Um, so yeah, let's try this guy. Prince Seven. Is he going to tick his name? Come on, Prince. Come on, Prince Seven. Tick your name. Come on. Come on. My viewers want to see a duel. You get, you gonna tick your name? You gonna tick your name? Huh? Huh? Her duelist? Yeah, this guy's not ticking his name. Oh, uh, God. I, I want to get at least a 1,200 rated. Okay, let's try this guy. There we go. He's ticked his name as well, so we'll get a game. And if you, and guys, if you notice my rank, I'm one of the highest Def Pro players. Some respect, in it. Okay, so we lost the, the Rock, Paper, Scissors. Hopefully he makes us go first, though. Okay, this is a pretty good hand. Like, it's not terrible at all. Okay, sick. So, we'll start off by going... Uh, we'll go Navigation first. I mean, no, not Navigation, sorry, Circle. Ah, oh, that's kind of sad. Ah, oh, well. So, this, this, and... This. Then I'll activate this. Grabbing... Rod. Then I'll just then all I can really do is normal summon rod. Like this is good, but if we don't see any targets, we're kind of screwed. So I guess I'll get another circle for next turn. And there's nothing else that I can really do, so I'll just pass. <sighs> if I think I should have probably just popped duality first, to be honest. Like, I, I want if Circle got a target, it wouldn't be so bad. But like, I got this regardless, so I just wasted a card. Oh well, at least I knew I'd be dualiting four. Ooh, what are we up against? B A? Maybe a Dark Magician Mirror? Oh, we're up against a Phantom Knight deck. Why is he running the level fours? Hmm, interesting. 
I wonder what this is uh, what I'm up against. Marauding Captain. Okay. I suppose this kind of synergizes with the deck, like its own Triver. Wait, I'm not Triver, um, Ve Vega? Okay. What else are you going to do? Probably make Breaksword here. Yeah, Breaksword. He doesn't have multiple Phantom Knights in the grave, so it doesn't make sense him killing his own Breaksword, so... He's probably... Okay, so he's just going to Breaksword. Yeah, he got rid of Circle. Okay... Is he going to now banish his wings to summon back his, um... Oh no, he's just going to crash into my rod. Okay. Uh... What else is, would he do here? I, I've got no plays, to be honest. Like, I'm probably just going to... Depending on what this gets. Oh, that would have been so good if it was like a Mahad. Uh... I don't really care about Fiend Jester. I'll, I'll, I'll pop... Oh, Dark... Allure of Darkness. We will ban... Oh. Do I want this? Nah, it doesn't matter. Um... Activate this. What am I gonna see? Do you have... Oh, really? Oh, God. Yes. Yes, guys. This is gonna work now. This, this, and this. Now, if he doesn't negate Coco, we're summoning Mahad. Come on. Do you have a response to Coco? Please don't have a response to Coco. What's he What's he doing? Come on. There we go. Okay, so we, we obviously have to discard Summoner Monk, but it's all worth in the end. It's all worth in the end. No! No! That would have been so good. That would have been a Sugoi moment. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, well. I'll just do this. That really does make me sad, though. He ruined my buzz. Oh, fudge. I guess I'll get this as well. Because we need a spell cast for Dark Renewal. You get a warning this, cause uh, I see no point. Summon Rod. Summon Monk. We'll make. I suppose this, cause putting in his extra deck isn't a point. Uh, no, if we made this, then we can't get around it. Um, I can make Dweller. But is there a point to making Dweller? Like, he's got this engraved, but other than that, I really don't care. Um, we'll make Castel. It's like, I really don't care. Like, he, if he has another Fog Blade, then sure, whatever, you had the card, but I really don't mind. So we'll shovel this away. Do you have another Fog Blade? If you do, do if you do, you use it. Come on. Come on. Use your Fog Blade. Come on. Come on, it's a brand new day. Um, yeah, so he's not using that, obviously. It might even be a Twin Twister set, to be honest. Like, it's probably something like that. Oh, it's not. Um, so, hopefully he's going to normal summon, because then I can special summon Dark Magician. Oh, if I did that, then I wouldn't get my hard, though. Is it worth? Is it worth? Mm, we'll see in a sec. Okay, summons the... Oh, I need to read Breaksword. As soon as he summons it, I need to know if it's destroyed or sent. I think it's destroyed, but if it's sent, then... I have to waste cards. Meh. Ooh. Uh, like... This will... When this leaves the field, it's banished, right? Ah, screw it. Like, I don't really care. Like, it's... Get... This is getting banished. I'm gonna banish the back row as well, because I don't care. Like, this is something I don't really give two dams about unless he's gonna crush it which is kind of sad this guy's stupid <laughs> he thinks it's not gonna get he thinks it's getting destroyed wait do i not get to summon oh chain damn dark renewal doesn't work if chaining too that's kind of sad though oh well we get mahad regardless then yay mahad 
Okay, we got Mahad. Uh, but what do I do now? Hmm. This is going to go to the graveyard, and if he has another rank 3, he's going to special summon it. I suppose we just do some battle damage. Like, there's nothing else to do. So we poke. And he can't and he can't exactly uh, banish this for its effect because then he won't be able to actually have a rank four, a rank three play. So, but it's cool to actually see um, Phantonite actually doing something. Maybe maybe I'll build this and just test it because uh, pure Phantom Knights are a lot funner than the BA variant, I believe. Plus, I've been thinking of making some rank three madness deck, so it has hip hippo in it. <laughs> um, yeah, but I've been thinking of making something like that because. Like, the, the here Pokemon card just got an e telly technically, so it's kind of cool. So, Phantom Knights and that really do seem like they'll synergize. Plus, we can roll an e telly and Blue Layer in the deck, so it's really cool. So, I might test something like that. I don't know. If you guys want to see me do, like, a Phantom Knight, Hippo, Blue Layer thingy, I'll, 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 I'll do a video of that. I'll test a video of that on Death Pro. Um, if you want to see it, I'll do it. it. Just tell me in the comment section below, innit? And we got Rod. Sick. Uh, we will use Rod. So, Rod Effect. And he just disconnected, like, because he couldn't do anything. But, yeah. So, we basically had game there. We're just going to poke for game. Um, I think we can fit maybe one more duel in. Like, I don't care. I can, I, we can fit another duel in for you guys. Show, like, we've shown some of the Dark Magician bit things. We've... We've bricked a bit, we've won, we, like, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a bit more. This is the last game, though, and we opened pretty decent, actually. I, I, I like this. Uh, I don't really care about the Twin Twister in my hand, so I'm just gonna normal summon this. Effect, or, uh, activate. Like, I want to keep the Illusion Magician, because I, I've got Navigation Hand, so, but we'll do that. Summoning Coco. Like, this com this combo just actually helps rank 4 in plays in the deck as well. Like, I'll probably... If you go Also, guys, if you want to see a deck profile of this, I can. Deck profile for you guys. Just give you all my reasons behind it. Um. So, yeah, let's get some decent draw. Oh, we got another Coco. Next turn, yeah. In so, we, won't, we obviously won't overlay here. Because if we did, then we won't have the target for Illusion. So, yeah. It's sad that we didn't get a circle, because now we don't have, like, another sort of trap card during their turn, but it really doesn't matter. It's like, we've got a decent setup right now. If he twin twisters, then it's kind of sad, but... Nonetheless, we're in a pretty good... Co we're in a pretty decent position, I'd say. Pretty decent. Not the best, but pretty decent. So what have you got with your six cards in hand... Haxors. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Haxors. And we're playing against Ka Oh, we're playing against Kaiju. Oh. Oh. That is not good. Yep, so just tributes that. Summons Dogoran. Ah, oh, that's that makes me sad. He tributed Coco. Summons free free beat stick. Pretty good. So yeah, crashes into the Dogaru. I can probably I can get around this board pretty easily. I just gotta draw one card. Oh, is it worth? I don't know if it's worth for me to tribute this because he he can legit just summon another kaiju over it. Okay, so he's not summoning another kaiju. Over it. In the end phase, though, I will summon the uh, I will tribute this to get obviously that good that good stuff. The the dark magician. Okay, and always chain did not work there. That that annoys me. That really annoys me. Oh well. Um, multiple back row. I'll normal summon Coco. Uh, use Coco's effect. Discarding a Dark Magician. What will I draw? Oh, and guys, if you want to see this build in action in real life as well, I can do some videos of that against, like, a Blue Eyes to make it, like, proper Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Like, oh, for God's sake. I don't want to draw you Summoner Monk. I want to draw some... I want to draw Circle. Or, or Rod. Rod would work. But, regardless, we can make a rank 7 play here, actually, so... Why can't I tribute this? If you want to spell Castle Monks in your control... I don't get it. Why, why can I only tribute Coco? That's odd. Must be a death row glitch? Uh, it's a spellcaster. I, I don't see what's wrong here. Huh, must be a glitch. Weird. Oh well. Makes me sad to tribute Coco away, but... It's, it's fine. Navigation... Like, the only way he can actually stop me now if he, if he has warning, and that would just be very sad. I think I'll summon out the Illusion Magician. You have, your Kaiju has five counters. Be happy. Uh, I could, I could ruin this man's day. I could rob his kaiju. Is it worth? Mm. I'll rob his kaiju. Because then he can't tribute any other thing of mine, then it's just kind of easier there. Ah, oh, he striked me. That makes me sad. Oh well. I'm in a terrible position now. So we do. So I beat Minerva Swarm. I beat Phantom Knights, and now I'm going to get wrecked by. Ka oh, it's your Sendry Kaiju as well. And that just makes me sad. Oh. This wouldn't be as bad if I could have just summon kept Coco, but for some reason I couldn't tribute this. I wonder why. I'm gonna read it. Well, this card is based on the field. Oh, that's why. It can't be tributed. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, that's why I couldn't do it. Like, when you don't even read your own cards. <laughs> I, I didn't even know it had that effect. Huh, interesting. Am I about to get battered? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see on my next draw. Do I have an next draw? Yeah, I have an next draw, definitely. So, what will I draw? This guy pluses. The best thing I could see out of this is me like drawing navigation or well, no rod would actually be better than navigation right now I think. But whatever I draw really depend really decides this game. I wish rod was when it was special summon as well. That'd be just really good. Uh, oh, come on. Let's draw some good cards. Like, I really need to draw something to help this situation. I'm trying to think of what I could draw, but I, I don't really see anything. That might help. Let's see. Is it useful? That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm still in a pretty bad position either way. Uh, I'll just add the navigation. It's it's the it's the play that could probably keep me alive. So it's probably best to add it. Then set monk and pass. That's all I can really think of doing. Like that make that forces him to attack into this at least. Remove brain. Why do I care about remove brainwashing? Oh, he's gonna tribute over this. That makes sense. And then the grand missile is gonna instantly leave. Ugh. Oh, he's just gonna enter buffers. You gotta scrub it. You know where? I've got navigation. 
So yeah, we'll just summon Dark Magician Defense, and then what can we summon from there? Oh, there's nothing really to summon. I don't know what to summon. I guess Jester, because that can recycle like the Dark Magician, but there's nothing really else to do. It's kind of sad. Okay, so attacks this. Um. Kinda don't want him getting any more plus, getting a plus of the of the of the war front. So I'm just gonna banish a navigation. Oh, if I negate it, he loses all his counters. Sick. Okay. Draw a good card. That's not a good card. Uh, I guess I can just overlay. Ooh, or I could do something else. Uh, what could I do? Like, ooh, I can make emerald. Oh, that would have been so perfect if I drew circle. Oh, well, I can't have it all, can I? Um... What to do? Uh, let's make emerald. Well, Emerald... Uh, I'll just shuffle three cards away, because, like, making Dark Magician is like, okay, I have Dark Magician, but I have nothing else. So, yeah, let's see. We'll, go, we'll shuffle back this, this, and... Uh, big Eye. Like, I know I can't win this game. Like, yeah, yeah, I can't win this game with this, so... Is there any point? I don't think there is, so just set pass. I can't re I really can't do anything here. He's just, he can just literally poke the uh, emerald, because I stupidly put it in attack mode. But even so, he would have just summoned a Yosenju regardless. So really didn't matter. Yeah. So yeah, I, I I'm just gonna surrender here because like I can't win. So, yeah, guys, you saw what the Dark Magician deck could do. You saw what I, how I played it. Um, what do you think of the Dark Magician deck right now? Do you think it can be a decent deck right now? Do you think you can play it well in this format? And, yeah, guys, tell me what you think of the Dark Magician deck in general. Um, and, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.